Before the video starts, I just want to say that I'll be streaming over on Twitch once I hit 50 followers, so it would be greatly appreciated if you could drop a follow. The link will be in the description and the pinned comment. Enjoy the video. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is get your cinematic. The best way to do this is to go into creative mode. But before that, you need to make sure that you have record creative replays on so that you can actually get the cinematic when you go in there. Once you get into creative, I'd avoid creating a new island just to make sure that what we're about to do doesn't get in the way of any of your current islands. Once you enter your island, go into the creative menu and search in the galleries tab for the cube gallery. Place it down and then pick a color that contrasts with the skin you'll be recording with. As soon as you do that, create a platform with a coloured floor and background to create the cinematic against. Now you can perform your cinematic on the platform. Once you're in replay mode, line up your camera and change your settings to make sure that the textures are on epic, but make sure the shadows and post-processing are both off because they both shade the background which makes it much harder to remove in the editing software. Now press play and record your cinematic making sure that the whole background is the same colour. Okay, so now we're in After Effects, what we want to do is double click on the little clip in the top left and then what we want to do is we want to drag the little pin head in the bottom left all the way to where the cinematic starts. You then want to go to the middle where you see the little lines and you want to click it to mark the in part of the clip and then you want to drag the pin head to the end where you want the cinematic to finish and then you want to um, click the other little line to end the clip. Then what you want to do is you want to go over to the left and drag it in. What you want to do now is you want to go into the effects and presets tab and then you want to search for color key, which should be under obsolete. What you then want to do is you want to drag it into the clip and then go up to the top left and see the little uh, tool there, click on it and then click on the background and then increase the color tolerance until the whole background is black and you can see barely any green around the character. So now what you want to do is you want to go back to the effects and presets tab and search for the matte choker effect. You then want to apply it to your clip and um, increase the geometric softness and the change around the choke just until you can't see any green around your character. And then what you want to do is you want to um, turn off the grey level softness so that there isn't any blur and it's all a completely solid line between the background and your character. Okay, so now everything's done. The background is completely removed and there's not very much green stuck to your character. There might still be a little bit, but it's barely noticeable when you actually um, create the video or put a background onto it. So I'm just going to add a background just to show you that there's definitely no background there and that it's really hard to notice any green. So I'll just add a pink background and then put it below the clip. And there you go. There's the background. It's really simple and easy to do. I hope you enjoyed and like, subscribe.